Ever pondered over the simplicity and complexity of prime numbers? These unique numbers are a cornerstone of mathematics. A prime number is a natural number, greater than one, that has no positive divisors other than one and itself. That means they can't be divided evenly by any other numbers except for one and the number itself. The first few primes to start with are 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, and 13. Finding prime numbers may seem daunting, but with the right logic, it's a walk in the park. So, how do you spot a prime number in the wild? Prime numbers are like the wild and elusive creatures of the number kingdom. They only have two factors, one and themselves. No more, no less. But how do we find them? The answer lies in the simple yet effective method of trial division. Here's how it works. You take the number you're investigating and start dividing it by all numbers less than its square root. Why the square root, you ask? Well, it's simple. Any factors of a number must pair up to make the number itself. If there are no pairs that can be made with numbers less than or equal to the square root, then there are no factors at all. So, if your number isn't divisible by any of the numbers in this range, congratulations, you found a prime number. If it is divisible, well, better luck next time. Unraveling the mystery of prime numbers isn't so mysterious after all, is it? Ready to translate this logic into Java code? Let's dive in. We'll start by defining a method. Let's call it is prime. This method will take an integer as input and return a Boolean as output. This Boolean value will tell us whether the input number is prime or not. The code for this method starts off pretty simple. If the input number is less than two, we immediately return false. Why? Because two is the smallest prime number and anything less than that isn't considered prime. Next, we move into the meat of our method. Here, we start a for loop that runs from two all the way up to the square root of the input number. We use the square root as our upper limit because any factor of a number will be less than or equal to its square root. Clever, right? Inside this for loop, we're checking to see if our input number is divisible by the loop variable. If it is, that means our number isn't prime and we return false. Now, if our loop completes without finding a single divisor, that means our number is prime. So we return true. And there you have it, a simple yet powerful Java code to find prime numbers. Happy coding.